Hello, hello, welcome once again to our Sustainable Architecture Animated Glossary. Today, we will understand many concepts related to biophilic design. So let's take a look on this drawing. It required a lot of work for me to make it. I draw this entire thing, so be sure to press like to support this channel. So what do we have here? Biophilic design is this innovative approach to architecture that will incorporate nature into our built environment. So what is the idea? When we started to build, we kind of lost this connection between humans to nature. So our intent here is to increase that connection by using biophilic design elements. We have more than 70 different strategies to using biophilic design and in this picture we have i don't know 10 or something but let's understand each one of them so you will understand what it is all about okay so let's take a look since the beginning here okay using plants this is so simple right everyone knows that using plants you increase biophilic in your space but you can use natural colors you can use patterns depending on the pattern that you use your neocortex is going to process these patterns. Let's say you are waiting for your doctor in a waiting room. So you are seeing the wall over there and you have some patterns. So you will be not really thinking, but it will be there, right? So it's a nice idea to use that. You can have also growth and efflorences. So what it is, when you have a space and you have plants growing inside the space, you will see that time is passing by, things are happening inside your space, such as in nature. So when you use plants, and especially plants that grow really fast, such as bamboo, for example, you will increase this feel. Then we can proceed to the drawing and we will see here prospect and refugee so what it is imagine that in nature you have open spaces and then you can have for example a small cabin that you go there to seek refugee this is the feeling that you can have also in biophilic design and here you have also tubular form so what it is is the idea to emulate forms that you find in nature so for example tubular form x you can use nest shapes as well so all of that will increase this connection with nature seeing forms that you can find there okay let's keep going then you can see also some animal patterns so what is the idea you don't have the actual animal you can have the actual animal in your space you will increase that as well but the representation of this animal also brings this biophilic design elements to your mind and to your project but bring this animal patterns will increase that feeling as well you can use also plant patterns of course real plants will be better but just bringing these representations will increase these feelings as well so let's keep going we can find here external views so of course when you have these views to the outside you will see movement so i can see here from a window people passing by cars i can see the sky very cloudy sky today here in my city but i'm seeing time passing by so i know which time it is because i saw time passing by the entire day and i will straighten my circadian rhythm as well so what is the circadian rhythm is our biologic clock right so our my biologic clock is connected to the outside so when it's time to eat i will know when it's time to eat my body will know when it's time to eat my body will produce enzymes when it's time to sleep my body is going to produce melatonin so many great things when you have external views and this connection then we have other possibilities here that you will see so fractals when you have those small shapes that together forms a shape you have this fractal idea so this is something that you can use for your bio design then you have filter and diffuse light so what is the idea imagine that you are in a in a forest you have the sun rays that you see above the leaves this is the effect that you can bring also to your design It's going to straighten your circadian rhythm and is going to bring great benefits for you as well so here are many great stretches related to biophilic design so we pass through many things here and i hope you have enjoyed this video but before you leave i have two invitations for you we have created a complete class related to biophilic design with most of these elements that you can use in your projects so all this 60 we just saw 10 here or something and also we have many great concepts related to our sustainable architecture animated glossary so these videos are here choose your option and i see you in these next videos.